Hi everyone, this video is part one of four of a series of tips and tricks videos to get you quickly started with Lumerical Scripting and Python API. In this video, we will demonstrate usage of the Lumerical Scripting Framework, also known as LumScript. We will also discuss the concept of a setup script. A setup script is used to instantly generate the objects for your simulation and can be parameterized. To start off, in the Lumerical FDE and FTTD tools, you can find the script file editor window on the right panel of the software. Here is where you can create new Lumerical script files and run them. Also of importance is the script prompt in the bottom left. This is similar to the command prompt of your OS. It will show you outputs from your script and also report errors. Lastly is the script workspace. This panel is useful for tracking what variables and data currently exist in memory. This is a great place to check first if you believe variables in memory are not correctly cleared when running your script. If you do not see any of these panels, you can bring it back up by going to the top menu bar, clicking View, then Windows, then Script File Editor, or Script Prompt, or Script Workspace to open these panels. Next, I will demonstrate how to set up a waveguide structure in Lumerical FDE using a LumScript setup file. If using the GUI, you will need to create four objects, the waveguide, the buried oxide, the cladding, and the simulation region. LumScript allows you to access setup functions that are available in the GUI. You can think of LumScript as a macro in this sense, allowing designers more control and customization. To begin the setup file, we first declare variables for the waveguide width and height. We also declare the material for the waveguide. In this case, we'll use silicon. By declaring the variables this way, we can keep the adjustable lines of the script separate from the lines that enact the actions. The variables can be declared as arrays as well. With the addition of a loop, you can quickly create a semi-automated simulation script. After we have declared the variables, we can proceed with creating the waveguide. First, in line 59, we call the function addRect. As the name implies, this will add a rectangle object to our object hierarchy. When an object is created, it is effectively selected within LumScript. This is how the next lines from 60 to 67 knows which object to apply the values to. To apply the values to a different object, you can call a select function prior to these set functions. For the other objects, such as the buried oxide, cladding, and simulation region, we can add them in the same way. To run the script, you can press the Run Script button, shown as a triangle with a page icon, or use the hotkey F5. This will instantly generate all objects with our assigned values. Lastly, to finish off this video, I want to specifically point at the set functions called throughout the script. The values to be set, such as xpan, shown here in line 78, are string values. You can find out what values you are able to insert here by right-clicking the object of interest, clicking Edit Object, and any of the adjustable values or tick mark options can be used as the string inputs in these set functions. For all functions and documentation on their usage, you can find it under the web page Lumerical Scripting Language Alphabetical List on the Lumerical website. A link to the website is also included in the transcript of this video. And that concludes this tips and tricks video. Thanks for watching.